Okay, we're recording. Welcome. Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your morning and your weekend and TGIS, right? Uh, we are going to get started. I'm Megan White. I'm a Star Diamond coach. I've been a coach for eight and a half years, and I love social media. That's what I'm going to be talking to you about tonight. I didn't always love it, though. And sometimes it's a beast, and sometimes it gets the best of you, right? But um, so I'm going to be chatting on that. I'm going to give you three tips uh, to um, three content tips, and then some three pick tips. So just how to maybe spruce up your pictures just a little bit, and then at the end we'll do a Q and A. Uh, if you do have questions, comments, drop them in the chat, and uh, I will, at the end, maybe go through and um, see if I can answer some of your questions. So I've been a coach for eight and a half years, and I started, you know, when I started growing my business, I had 200 followers on Facebook, I think. I didn't even know what YouTube was. I didn't know, I don't even know if Instagram was really that big eight years ago, um, but I started at ground zero. So I definitely remember what it feels like to be a new coach and to feel like I don't have a big network. I don't know a lot of people. I am running out of people to talk to, right? I can't, you know, I'm having a difficult time growing my Instagram account. I seem to, you know, flop on Facebook. My posts don't seem to get a lot of traction or interaction, right? I'm sure it's, we've all seen it, heard it, felt like that before and had some of those objections, um, self-limiting beliefs and just feeling like, am I ever going to be able to build my business on social media? And when is it going to take off? And when am I going to be able to, you know, like, make it on social media. And what I want you to do is I want you number one, just to take a big deep breath. <sighs> okay. Take a big deep breath and tell yourself I am me and that's all I can be. And that is good enough. That's good enough. It's good enough for you. It's good enough for your followers. It's what your followers need. Even if you have one follower, a person's counting on you to be yourself. And it's good enough for those people that you don't know are watching you, but are watching you. And those people who are telling their network or their friends or their you know mom, sister, cousin, whatever, about you. And I don't care if you only have one follower. I don't care if you have a hundred thousand followers. I got so wrapped up when I started growing my network and I started, you know, getting a little bit more engagement, a little bit more traction. I got a little bit more likes, a little bit more comments. I got so wrapped up in the number. How many of you feel like that? Like you just feel like, oh, why am I so tied to this number? Why am I so tied to the likes? Why am I so tied to the comments? Why do I care if I get a lot or a little? I got so wrapped up that that was then my focus to my posts. I kind of lost just being me, I kind of lost what I actually wanted to share, like my message at, at any given time. And I kind of went down that path of, is this going to get a lot of likes? Is this going to get a lot of comments? Is this going to get a lot of traction? Am I going to get people to tag other people in this? And to a certain extent, to a certain extent, <laughs> I don't want to say it, I shouldn't even say it, but it's true. To a certain extent, that does matter. Traction on your post does matter. People tagging people does matter. 
getting more likes does matter. Getting more, I feel like more importantly, getting comments and conversation and connections does matter. But let me break it to you guys. Are you listening? Are you listening? I'm going to tell you a secret. Can you hear me? Being popular on social media does not pay your bills. Being popular on social media doesn't pay your bills. Facebook likes, they don't, they don't put money in your bank account, unfortunately. Or I think a lot of people would be a whole hell of a lot richer, right? You have got to let go of those chains, those social media chains that it's so easy to get wrapped up in, especially as a new coach, especially when you're first starting your business, when you're first launching your business, when you're first opening your business, it is so easy to get caught up in that because we're like this, what is everyone else doing? What is everyone else posting? Wow, she posted that and got a lot of traction. Wow, she shared, you know, that story on Instagram and got, you know, whatever, 500 more followers. Instead, we got to be like this. You have to put your blinders on. You have to stay in your own lane. And you have to remember who the hell you are. There is not one single top coach, not one single uber successful coach, however success is defined for you or them. That is not authentically, imperfectly, genuinely showing up as their true self, not one, not one. And you can look at any of the top coaches, Christina, for example, Lisa, for example, I mean, pick any of any of the leaders just on our team. They are showing up and not trying to be anybody else. So number one, be you, be you, don't be Beachbody, don't be Jessica. Don't be Susie. Don't be Megan. Don't try to be Christina. Don't try to be Lindsay. Don't try to be Lisa. Don't try to be Evan. Don't try to be Darren. Boys, if you're watching, surely don't be Karen. <laughs> if your name's Karen, I still love you. It's just a joke. And no disrespect. Um, don't try to be anybody else. Be you. You are not paid and you will not get paid to number one market Beachbody. Beachbody doesn't pay you to be a Beachbody promoter. Get what I'm saying? Listen, you get paid to market the lifestyle. You get paid to market your journey. You get paid to inspire other people. You get paid to show up authentically, genuinely, imperfectly you and create that space for other people that are following you, that are looking at you, that are looking up to you, that are inspired by you, you get paid to pave that path. You get paid to not walk around with your Shakeology cup and take every dang selfie under the sun with your Shakeology cup, you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Or you're energized, or you're, you know, bod ropes. You know, like you're not getting paid to be beach body. You're getting paid to be you. Because if you're not showing up as you and you're not showing up in who you genuinely are. Your followers, number one, aren't going to know who the heck you are. You're not going to attract your tribe. You're not going to attract those people that are just like you. You're going to attract the wrong people. You're going to attract the people that 
you have to push, that you have to pull, that you have to drag, that you have to, that you have to talk into a positive mindset. The people that are not willing to work for this, you're going to attract people that are scared, that don't want to grow, that don't want to get out of their comfort zones, that have to try to act perfect. You're going to attract a whole slew of the wrong people. And at the end of the day, you're going to be creating a team that you have no clue what to do with. You have no clue what to do with them. And I know you guys, you are not on this team because you're a negative person. You're not on this team because you are, uh, you know, not willing to work for it. You're not on this team because you have to be pushed, pulled, and dragged. You're not somebody who gives up. You're not somebody who throws in the towel when shit gets hard. You're not somebody who is scared to share your message. You're not that person. So stop acting like that person. If you need to take pen to paper and you need to write down, who the hell am I? Who am I? What do I love? What do I believe in? What do I stand for? What is, you know, what is my like mixture of flavors? You're not just vanilla. Don't be vanilla. And if you're like, well, I don't really have an exciting life. Like I just, I don't know. I'm just a mom and I just, I don't know. I just don't have like, I don't know. Pen. Paper. You were made uniquely, imperfectly, absolutely, exactly who you're supposed to be. God makes no mistakes. Take pen to paper and write down. Peel back those self-limiting beliefs. Peel back that narrative that you've grown to accumulate, that you've grown to believe that maybe started when you were younger. I don't know. Maybe it was grade school, high school, situations, people, places. Those all molded you into who you are right now. Those situations, experiences, people molded you, molded your mindset, your belief set, your heart set, your narrative into who you are right now and what you believe currently. Are you holding yourself back? Are you getting in your own way? Are you coming up with all of these excuses, all of these self-doubts, all of these self-worries? Is that what you're projecting, not maybe out on social media, but out on yourself? When you realize that, and when you realize that it's just a narrative, it doesn't have to be true. I don't have to believe that about myself. You can start to change it. And you can start to kind of unleash the shackles and you can kind of start to unleash the bricks and you can kind of start to peel back that heavy skin that you've been living under. And you can find yourself again. You can find your fire. You can find your power. You can find what drives you, what pushes you. What excites you? This business should be exciting, you guys. It should be exciting. You should find the things that light you up, and then you should do more of that. If it's not the same thing that this person's doing, who the hell cares? It's your business, and the beauty about this is you can build it however you want, with whoever you want. But if you're not showing up as yourself and finding who you truly are under the depression under motherhood, under the title of wife or partner, under the exhausting 60 hour a week job, under the anxiety, under the judgment, the criticism that you've maybe carried up until now. You can find that person again. I'm living proof. Last year was my rock bottom. 
last year I was so dang uh, swallowed in postpartum anxiety and depression. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't get out of bed. And that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother Zoom. But I hit my rock bottom. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't find myself. I didn't know who I was. I knew who I was, but I couldn't get to her. So I had to lean in. I had to lean in hard, real hard. And I did. Eventually, I found my fire again. I found my power again. I remembered who the hell I am. And I don't care if Jessica doesn't like me. And I don't care if, you know, Sally gets offended by some of the stuff I post. I don't care if Susie doesn't believe the same things I do. I don't care if Stacy doesn't like my workout videos or posts. I don't care because that judgment and criticism and negativity isn't paying my bills. And damn it, you guys, whatever you're working for, why did you start this business? You got to remember why you started and remember what you're working for. And for me, it's my family and it is freedom. And dang it, they are worth me showing up authentically, genuinely myself. Because when you stop growing, your business stops growing. What are your habits? What are your habits that will inspire others? What do you believe in? What do you love? What do you stand for? Who cares if it's not like everybody else? It takes balls to stand up out of the crowd and be the only one speaking up. Who cares? You're gonna find your people and there is a whole boatload of them. But they don't know that you exist if you're pretending to be somebody else. And you'll never build your business. You'll never build a successful business trying to be like anybody else. You want to build trust, not fake trust. People join people. People don't join because of the products. People join because of the people. Your people are going to join because of you and who you are. And people join people they know, like, and trust. And you've heard that before, probably a million times. Do people really true you? How I translate that is, do people really truly know who you are? Do people like you for who you are? And if they don't, go fly a kite. Next. It's okay. You don't have to be friends with everybody. You don't have to have everybody like you. <clears throat> That's not what you were put on this earth to do. And do they trust you? And nobody's gonna trust you if you're not being authentic. Number two, get intentional with your message. Pick five areas. Maybe start with three. If you're a brand new coach, start with three. <clears throat> three to five areas of your life that you are passionate about, that you can speak on, that you might just know, you know, like the back of your hand, and you might just think it's like, oh, everybody knows this. Everybody shares this. I see everyone talking about this. But are they saying it in your way? Nobody can share your message. Nobody can share your story. Nobody can share your journey. You're the only one that can do that. What? Do you want to tell your person, and I say person, not people, not network, not followers, what do you want to tell your person in that moment with that message? If they were sitting in your house on the couch. Who you are speaking to kind of matters more than what you say. If you try to speak to everybody, nobody listens. You've got to get very intentional about who you're talking to and what your message is. 
and it doesn't have to be the same message every single day and it doesn't have to be this long big deep you know motivational thing every single day but you got to know your people and you got to know what you want to try to convey to them and what kind of value you want to add to their life and you're not going to know your people unless you know yourself you have to add value you have to be a giver don't be white noise. Don't talk about the same thing every day. Don't try to be liked by everybody because you could love mangoes and somebody else love oranges and they're offended that you love mangoes. Like <laughs> it's social media guys. You've got to know what you want to say in order to inspire somebody else. When I get on to make a post or to write up just a piece of content, content is just your post. Um, the content within your, your post. When I get, when I write something up, I don't try to sound or say like somebody else. I kind of have to block all that out and I just say, okay, What's my main motive here? What do I what do I want this person to just grab onto? Is it just quick motivation? Is it them not feeling alone? Is it a, a, a mental struggle? Is it a, you know a mom challenge? Is it they just need to know that you know yes it's going to be hard but you can do hard things like what what does what do they need to hear? What does that what does my girl need to hear right now? Or if you're writing up content for the week, what message do you want to carry throughout the week? Maybe pick a theme and weave that in throughout your posts. If you're a brand new coach, just start with one post a day. You don't have to do the three to five. Just start with one post a day and make it a really good one. You're not going to build a business talking about the weather and like, oh, you know, I had my shake today and I did my workout and it's sunny and beautiful and have an awesome weekend. You know what I do with those people? I'm like, that selfishly, like, great for you. Woo. Good job. Not that you can't make those posts. I just wouldn't spend my time doing that personally. But how about something like, I woke up this morning, I was sitting on the edge of my bed. I didn't want to work out. I felt this wave of anxiety. And this is me personally. And this is a true story. You can't just make shit up. Like it's got it's to be genuine. But story tell a little bit. Allow somebody to picture themselves exactly where you're at, what you're doing, what you're feeling. Sitting on the edge of my bed, this wave of anxiety came through me and I knew if I just put my sports bra on, I knew if I just tied my hair up, I knew if I just put my socks on, I knew if I just started lacing up my sneakers and duh, drinking my free, I knew if I just put one foot in front of the other, I'd get it done and I'd crush it and I'd feel so much better. Guys, you're not gonna feel like it every day. Life's not always going to be a cakewalk. Your kids might be up all night. You might have crappy sleep. You might wake up and, you know, just not wanna do it. But these are the moments that matter the most when you push through the not feeling like it because at the end, you're going to feel amazing. Get after it today. Go crush it today. TGIS, sis. Like something like that. It doesn't have to be that long or in depth, but do you see how I shifted from here's what I did, poor me, not poor me. Here's what I did, go me, to here's how I overcame just a, an everyday relatable struggle, challenge, still crushed my workout and then wrapped it up with just a quick message like go get after it but you got to speak from the heart and you got to speak to your people 
And if you're not doing that, your people can't find you. And if you're trying to speak to everybody, nobody's listening and it's this, right? It's this. Number three, stay consistent AF. I want you to just write that down for a minute. And everyone take a big swig of your pre or your coffee or your tea or your mimosa. Okay, take a big swig. We're gonna wrap it up with this third tip. Stay consistent AF. Consistent AF, how do I do that? What if I get busy? What if life happens? What if this happens? What if, you know, my kids start freaking out? What if, what if, what if, what if? It's life, it's never gonna be a linear line. You're always gonna have ebbs and flows in life. But isn't that like with anything? How do you stay consistent with your health and fitness? I love, love, love how this business parallels and the, the, the concepts and the tips and the mindset parallels so well and perfectly with our health and fitness. How do you stay consistent in your health and fitness? Probably gotta do a little planning. Probably gotta schedule your workouts. Probably gotta do a little meal prep so that you have healthy stuff on hand to grab. Probably need a little accountability, right? Or support. And you probably need a little different mindset to where you know it's gonna be hard work. I'm not gonna feel like it all the time. I gotta stay positive and I just have to show up. And however that is, and I give my best, is good enough. It's good enough for today. Your business is no different in, in content and storytelling and all of those fancy terms. It's no different than preparing for your health and fitness. You're preparing to share a story. You're preparing to share your message. You're preparing to carry a theme of value throughout the week. So a tip that I give my team is to batch their content, to sit down at the beginning of the week. And my girl Stacy does this very well. Sit down at the beginning of the week and just have an idea. Take a couple hours because it's gonna save you a lot of time throughout the week and you probably spend more time than that crafting, curating, editing your pictures, your posts, thinking, what do I wanna talk about today? Oh, I just need to make a post, I just gotta get something out there. Now it's nine o'clock at night and I haven't posted all day, right? That's when I throw like a funny meme out. So anytime I do that, you know that I'm just like, it's funny, <laughs> but I obviously haven't posted all day. Sit down at the beginning of the week on Sunday, Take a couple hours. If you need a social media calendar, I share it with my team. I know Brooke shares one with her team. I don't know if we have one in here, but we can certainly get you guys one. A social media calendar of just ideas. Just ideas about what would be a topic that interests you, that you're passionate about, that you can really talk on and add value with. And education, entertainment, you know, Sit down and curate five posts. And it doesn't have to be a book every single day. It doesn't have to be, you know, so like in depth and like, ooh, that was deep. What do you want to talk about? Do you have an idea? Do you have a picture that could go with it? Or do you need to maybe snap a couple, throw on a little bow on your hair? Throw on a little lip gloss. You can edit your pictures, guys. You don't have to be all done up. You know, get it ordered. That's my other tip. But have snap a couple pictures, prop it up. You wouldn't even believe some of the stuff I prop my phone up on. And get 
some content ready and prepared. Yes, it takes time. Yes, it takes some planning. Yes, it takes some thought process. Get in your zone. I got to drink my jiggle juice. I got to be in the right mindset. It cannot be the week before my cycle. It's got to, I've got to, and if I know that's coming, then I plan more content because I know that week I'm pretty much out of commission because I'm just like, I literally, it's like my brain just up and here it is. Plan ahead, get prepared, have an idea, batch your content, collect inspiration, always be on the lookout for inspiration, always be on the lookout for ideas and relatable stories that you can take and make your own. Screenshot, take, save pictures, put them in folders on your phone so that on Sunday when you go to look at your um, ideas for the week, you can have a picture ideas <clears throat> or, um, you know, fitness inspo content, uh, mo motherhood content inspo, um, coaching business content inspo. inspo. I save them on Instagram when I come across them. I save them in um, those archives. Like you can you can save that little like flag thing. You can save, and then I put it in a folder. I've got boot camp inspiration content. I've got business. I've got motherhood. I've got just like just personal, you know, miscellaneous. Um, I've got fitness, and then you can pick and choose. Always post your in the moment ideas. Always post your in the moment messages. If you feel a wave of something, if you it feel like, I just got to share this, this would be great value. This would be great inspiration. That's a bomb picture I just took. I'm going to, I'm going to share something with it. Always, always take advantage of in the moment thoughts and messages because those are the best. Those are the best. You're, you're being authentic, you're being real, you're excited, you're in your power, you've got something to talk about, to share. It doesn't, I don't care if you just posted 10 minutes ago. If you've got something to say and it's quality, great content, always share the in the moment stuff. And it doesn't just have to be business or fitness related. It can be mom or if you love horses or you're a farmer or you work in the downtown city or whatever. You know what I mean? Okay. Those are bad examples, I feel like, but you get the idea. Um, and here's the thing, guys. If you aren't showing up consistently every single day, at least staying visible to your people, why would anyone trust that you're going to consistently show up for them. That's something I had to swallow. If you're not showing up for yourself consistently, why would anybody trust that you're going to show up for them? If you're not staying visible to your people, why would anybody trust that you're going to be visible to them? behind the scenes, in your community, as their coach, helping them build their business. Consistency builds trust. Consistency builds bridges. Consistency builds credibility. Consistency builds connections. Consistency builds relationships. That's the only way and we have the beauty of social media, the beauty of the platforms. Take advantage of it. Consistency is what success looks like. If you are staying consistent, that tells your people 
I can trust this girl. She's always showing up no matter what. She's got three kids. I know that she's shared about postpartum depression and anxiety. I know that she's, she, she's a human. She must have tough days. She must not feel like it all the time. She talks about not always being motivated. I see her drinking beer and eating pizza. And I see her having, you know, a life, but she's still showing up. She can do it. Ugh, I can too. But when that goes away, and you make a post on Monday and nobody sees you again until Saturday or Wednesday. And then you might make a post, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you're gone all weekend. And then you show up again next Tuesday. It's inconsistent. It depletes trust. You lose credibility. You lose visibility. You get more objections. You get more, you get more no's. Is it always the case? No. But the more you're consistent and the more you show up, the less objections you will get in your messages. The more yeses you will get in your messages. If you want results, you guys, You've got to stay consistent. Okay, I'm going to share just three quick pick tips very quickly. And then um, if you guys have questions, I'll answer those. Just drop them in the comments. Pick tips. Number one, lighting. Uh, you got to have good lighting. This is without my ring light. I can't even see half your face, girlfriend. Why would I stop to look at your, what you have to say? Boom. Get a ring light. I have this thing. 20 bucks on Amazon. Okay, it's got on and off. It's got, uh, you can, you can lessen the bright, you can heighten the brightness, you can change depending on what lighting you're in. Three different lights. Okay. I think it was on, yes, 20 bucks on Amazon. It's got a clip for your phone, a wiry thing that you can adjust, get some type of, I also have just a handheld one. If you can clip it like on your laptop or your phone, um, you gotta be in great lighting. Natural light is, is awesome too. I'm sitting in front of my window. So place your desk. Maybe you gotta move your desk. If you're sitting at your desk doing pictures and that's kind of where you find yourself or your workout room. I also have a ring light in there. It's a bigger one that I got gifted to me. Um, get something like that without natural light. Wah, wah, you know, it just looks better. So great lighting. You've got to start producing scroll stopping pictures. You just have to, because people aren't going to read your post first. They're going to look at your picture. And if that stops them, then their eyes wander real quick. So what did you have to say? Number two, variety of poses. Okay. You can't just be posting the same picture every single day. You're going to become white noise. It's not exciting. It's not you know, why would anybody want to live that life? Why would anybody want to sign up as a coach and build a business and have to think that they have to take the same pictures every single day? What you do in your business is what somebody is looking at if they want to duplicate or not. You've got to mix it up, get on Pinterest, start looking. This also goes in with your content inspiration. I don't know why my family started vacuuming right now. It's just, oh, I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, variety of poses that can go in your, your content time, batching, prepping your content, look on, uh, Pinterest, look at different like fitness lifestyle poses or get on Instagram and look at that. And just some different things that you can utilize around your house, sit on your front porch or your front step and invest in a tripod. They're very cheap on Amazon. You guys for like 10 times the quality of picture it's worth it. Okay. It's an investment in your business. Boom. 
sit on your um, on your step in your front yard or in your on your front porch and you know cross your legs and sit and or whatever snap your tripod up and take your picture you you most of you live in an up uh, an area that you can utilize and you can snap pictures of um, and then always show your personality don't be a, don't hold back you guys you're not too much you're not too you know you don't have too big of a smile you it's cute when you crinkle your nose you do you boo you do you I am like like that's just like me like so I take pictures like that because I'm living in the moment and that's how I feel and it's not every day that I feel like that and it's not every day that I take pictures like that but when I'm authentically feeling myself I show it and I share it and people know that you've got to again stay true to who you are show your personality share your personality be your personality find other person attract other personalities that are just like you because that's way more fun in hotel rooms and at summit and at team retreats and on zooms it's way more fun to be around people that have the same personality as you right um if it doesn't feel good don't do it if it feels weird and like that's not me but i see everyone else doing that don't do it you don't have to do it those are my three tips <laughs>